I don't want to go to school. Hey everyone, PJ here. And I know I'm a little late to the party, but that's because I was busy with a few things. Mostly this video. But anyway, I'm here now, and that's what's important. Warning! Do not use that as a legitimate tardiness excuse. You will get fired. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. So, there was a recent story of a 13-year-old boy who goes by Blue Scooty who beat Tetris. He did this by triggering a kill screen that caused the game to freeze. He did this as a tribute to his dad, who sadly passed away, and this story became so big that it made the news, and people consider this a huge accomplishment, and rightfully so. Do you know how hard this is to achieve? I played Tetris before, and it is very unforgiving at times. If you mess up, you have little room to recover, and chances are, you won't if you don't know what you're doing. And previously, this could only be accomplished by AI. So yeah, this is a huge accomplishment. But apparently, this excuse for a human being thinks otherwise. I'm not going to reveal her real name since I don't want to give this donkey face shit rat any more publicity than I need to, so I'm just going to call her Butt Slut. You see, after she saw what Blue Scooty accomplished, Butt Slut had this to say. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. That's your f***ing face! And as you may have guessed, this clip pissed off a lot of people. Torches and pitchforks were raised as high as they could possibly go. This kid sat for 20 plus hours trying to achieve this, which, friendly reminder, was meant as a tribute to his father, and he managed to achieve something that no other human being has managed to do before. And your response to this kid's accomplishment is to say, LOL, touch grass, nerd. Beating Tetris isn't a life goal, you cock. Which is filthy ridge coming from Butt Slut over here, who probably spends her free time at Starbucks scrolling through Facebook and asking to speak to the manager like the absolute Karen that she is. And look at how proud of herself she looks after saying that. Imagine being proud of yourself for chastising a kid for being a kid. She tells him to go outside and yet the moment she sees a group of kids playing outside, she probably calls the freaking police on them for disturbing the peace. And I just can't stand that mentality. There's just no winning with these people, because no matter what you do, they're going to find a problem with it, and this woman is no exception, because she can't cope with the fact that her pussy looks like this. So in conclusion, Sky News is trash, and you should not listen to a single word that falls out of this woman's wang warmer that she calls a mouth. And Bustlet, if you're watching this, leave. Take your own advice and go outside. Then maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to reflect on yourself and see how much of a horrible, bitter person that you truly are. You are literal human scum. You are a waste of cum, okay? You are the cum sandwich that deserves to be lit on fucking fire. Not even consumed, not let anywhere near a human body for a possible chance of reproduction. That's what you are. But to end this video on a wholesome note, the creator of Tetris, Alexei Pajitnov, actually acknowledged what Blue Scooty did and congratulated him on his accomplishment. And also, please do not go and harass Butt Slut, because all that's gonna do is establish that you're no better than she is. And as always, I strongly advise you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion instead of just taking my word at face value. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go guy scream. Slow me down, cause I feel alive now